Hey everyone, it's CR7 here and welcome to the Xfinity Series Daytona Post Race Thoughts Recap video. And as of me recording this right now, it is currently midnight. Yeah, I had to stay up <laughs> quite a while to do this Daytona Doubleheader Post Race Thoughts Recap video thing. So I have my race notes with me. It's two pages, but the last little sliver of it is on the second page. So anyways, we're going to go right out of the gate with the first crash of the night with... Sam Mayer taking a big hit into the outside wall in turn one. A.B. Deegan was involved in the accident, as well as Kyle Weatherman and Daniel Suarez. And I forgot if SV, uh, Sam Van Gisbergen was involved in the wreck, but... Uh, anyways, uh, restart with one to go in stage one, and Jesse Love uh, wins in a photo finish to take the stage one victory. And stage two begins at lap 36, and then a crash on the back straightaway involving Austin Hill, Jesse Love, Parker Kligerman, Shane Van Gisbergen, A.J. Allmendinger, Sammy Smith, Daniel Dye, Josh Williams, Frankie Muniz, and John Hunter Nemechek. Uh, Muniz had a early exit. Unfortunately, he couldn't continue on. If you don't know who Frankie Muniz is, he is one of the stars on the hit show Malcolm in the Middle. So that's a little interesting fact. So anyways, restart at lap 43, and Justin Allgaier spun off of turn two, trying to side draft with Cole Custer, and Garrett Smithley also spun out as well. Uh, Cole Custer was trying to avoid a piece of debris, and that's why he kind of turned down a little bit, and then that caused Allgaier to get spun. So anyways, restart at lap 49, and... John Hunter Nemechek spun out in the trial due to a flat tire, and Josh Balucki is involved as well, uh, the splitter dug in, and also Dawson Cram was involved as well. Then restart with four to go in stage two, and Austin Hill took the stage win. Then the final stage began with 54 laps to go, and green flag pit stops, I guess the only green flag pit stops in the race, around 45 laps to go, and Three cars uh, stayed out for a long time before the next caution, most notably Natalie Decker, who led some laps. And that all uh, came to an end when Jeb Burton got spun off of a bumper of Shane Van Gisbergen, who was trying to get in line, but just wasn't clear. And once the caution came out in the trial, Gisbergen spun out, but saved it. So... Unfortunate for Gisbergen and his uh, Xfinity debut. So anyways, restart with 18 laps to go and another crash on the back straightaway involving Jeremy Clements, Leland Honeyman, uh, Jeb Burton, Shane Van Gisbergen, Parker Retzloff, and Garrett Smithley. It looked like the 44 car uh, uh, was catching air a little bit in the grass. Uh, Anyways, restart with 11 laps to go and another crash on the back straightaway uh, involving Sage Karam uh, bumping Cole Custer a, a bit too hard. Uh, here's who were involved in the wreck. Cole Custer, Daniel Dye, Sage Karam, Justin Allgaier, and Brendan Poole. Then a restart with three laps to go. This is the last little sliver on the second page because it couldn't fit. And got to the white flag and they wrecked coming off a of turn two with... Uh, Ryan Sieg spinning in front of the field, and the ra the race, surprisingly, they didn't throw the caution this time, and so it was an easy walk-off win for Austin Hill, winning his third straight season opener uh, now. So Austin Hill pulls off the three-peat and wins uh, the United Rentals 300. That's the spon that's a sponsor, by the way. So congratulations to uh, Austin Hill for winning. His third straight Daytona race. Seems like he's got this plate racing thing figured out already. <laughs> so anyways, that concludes the recap. Now to my personal thoughts. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, Speed Weeks doesn't really disappoint for me. <laughs> uh, Speed Weeks is always a fun time of the year. When it's the beginning of the season and you get to see all the new teams and stuff. Uh, it's a shame that... Uh, SVG got into all the uh, wrecks that he got into, and also Frankie Muniz couldn't finish the race either, so it's a shame for him. Hopefully he has better luck in his next start. Uh, so anyways, that'll cap off this late post-race thoughts and recap video. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye-bye.